So before we get started for today, I thought I would just repeat the slide that I showed at the end of yesterday, sort of telling you, for those of you who weren't uh, here yesterday, um, what, uh, what sort of went down yesterday, some of the main themes that came out of it. Um, we had a, a talk by Awana Bajanda, and I think the, uh, the main theme that came out of it was he really gave a good uh, sense of the scale at which we are dealing with here. Um, it's a gigaton scale problem, uh, but and it will require this uh, an array of solutions, um, uh, including, of course, uh, renewable energy, green hydrogen generation, biomass. But under the um, industrial side, um, really there were three big, big industrial uh, uh, areas where um, we have the biggest emissions, and that's iron and steel chemicals and plastics and cement. And of course, you'll be hearing about some of those today. Um, heat is, of course, a big issue. Um, it accounts for a lot of the industrial CO2 emissions, and that's where we need some, some more R&D. How can we do that? Maybe with electrified heat and there are other um, options that were considered, should be considered as well. Um, we should also look at uh, both short and long term solutions. Um, there were various sort of technologies that were discussed, some were at early technology readiness levels, some were at later ones, and um, we need to try and get those moving as quickly as possible, but some will be more short term and some will be longer term. In terms of um, what Stanford could do or what academia could do, certainly, um, you know, we look at possible collaboration or continue with collaboration with industry and national labs in parallel to try and accelerate this innovation and deployment. And then, of course, get um, some of the entrepreneurs, some of the entrepreneurial students and so on, who start up companies and so on. They can create some of the disrupt disruptive green technology companies that um, can really make a big difference. Um, there is one sort of example here given in the mining industry. Um, it actually takes up a lot of the global energy consumption and electricity actually takes up a big component of that it's through crushing and mining and so on. And there's opportunities there for deploying um, renewable energy at those sites. So those are some of the, the themes that came out of uh, yesterday. Just thought, of, I thought I'd share that with you before we get started for today.